Yo, what's going on, everybody? We're back with another video today, man. We're going to be ranking every single 2022 finest player. <laughs> yeah, boy. Got all 40 of them. Well, 39. Jose out too. But every time I try to put his card in here, he just disappears. Just know he's S tier. He's not here, though. Anyways, we have S, A, B tier, Buxton tier. I'm sure you can understand why. Buxton is terrible. They they ruined his card. Very unfortunate for Buxton. Uh, What we're going to be doing is we're assuming that we're playing on Legend. We're going to be going by division. We're going to look at all five cards from each division. Switch over to MLB show. Look at their stats. Talk about why I put them there. Come back. Finish the next division. Ba 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 boom, boom, boom. Adley Rushman. I got Adley Rushman in B tier. Tier. We got Xander Bogarts in A tier. Now, Xander Bogarts, I'm not going to lie. I kept going back and forth if I was going to put him in A or S tier. Our better shortstop, Jimmy Rollins, Corey Seager, Trey Turner, like Boba Shett, technically stat wise is better. And you could possibly say Trevor Story plus Honus Wagner. So there's like those seven guys. Personally, I got Bogarts at like maybe five or six. Um, I think he is better than Honus Wagner. No offense to Honus Wagner. If you guys hate me for that, that's fine. But I hope you don't. I got Nestor in B tier. I also got Shane in B tier. And we have Vladdy in A tier. So 100 contact, in my opinion, is just too low. There is a potential that Xander Bogarts is S tier. There is. But in my head right now, he's going in A tier. Problem with Nestor Cortez here is we have no outlier and his fastball is pretty slow. So I would assume most people be more patient because a lot of the pitch speeds are just slower. Reason Shane is in B tier. He has four pitches, dude. Four pitches just really doesn't ever cut it anymore. Vladdy has a really, really good card, but I don't think he's the best first baseman out of the finest collection. Possibly be S tier with his, with his swing and everything, but that's where I got him for now. We got Jose Ramirez in B tier. I got Dylan Cease in B tier. Uh, is, is it pronounced Tarek? Tariq? Mm, I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name. This is awkward, but I got him in B tier. Bobby Witt up in A tier. Johan Duran in S tier. Uh, it's a little interesting, so... Uh Back to MLB to show we go. It's the 100 contact. It's the exact same thing as Adley Rushman. His card is actually very similar to Adley Rushman's. So that's why he's in B tier. Uh, why is he in B tier? Uh, either, no outlier. 122, 112. It's not bad. Has a sinker. I might be tripping. Okay, I'm actually, you know what? I just changed my mind. I think better than Nestor and Shane. So I'm going to move him up to A tier, but I'm not I'm not completely sold on that, honestly. Tariq, I mean, he got 108 hits per nine. He's got like one of the lowest hits per nine out of like all the starting pitchers. So that's why he's B tier and that's why he goes there. Could you make a case that Bobby Wood is better than Xander Bogarts. I know he doesn't have 125, 125 on the contact, which is a little bit tough. I feel Bobby Witt and Xander Bogarts are closer to each other than Xander Bogarts is clearly better than him or that Bobby Witt is clearly better than Xander Bogarts. Also, why I think they both go in A. I'm all for a difference of opinion. Comment down below if you're like, hey, don't call me stupid. But if you want to be like, hey, man, I think Bobby Witt is S tier. I think Xander Bogarts is S tier. That's okay. I'm willing to have a conversation. And honestly, anybody who has a difference of opinion, that's all right. That's what we're here. We're here to be talking about the cards, talking about our opinions. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Johan Duran's card is really, really interesting though, because the difference between this card and the other card is there's no cutter. What made this card so dangerous is he could throw a 102 fastball at you or a 90 mile per hour cutter, sometimes even like 87 miles per hour, and you couldn't really pick it up. They looked too similar. The slider will not have the same effect as the cutter, so I am a little worried about this card. I I, I truly am, but I'm still going to put him in S tier because I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt, all right? Now we've got the AL West. Remember, I said Jose Altuve wasn't here. Jose Altuve is a S tier card. We got Taylor Ward. Taylor Ward is completely an S tier card. He is fantastic stat wise and can play catcher. I would rather have Adley Rushman than Sean Murphy because he's a switch hitter. Julio Rodriguez, S tier card. And Adolis Garcia go A, but there's real potential that Adolis Garcia could be S tier. And if we go and look back at these cards, so like I said, let's look at Jose Altuve, 114, 121, 108, 114. I've played with the monthly award Jose Altuve card and that card, it raked. I like his swing. I love his swing. So he's S tier. 120, 111, 121, no 105. And I played with his monthly card too, 90 overall. And I was cracked with that card too. So love his swing. Sean Murphy, again, like I said, I don't even know if he's better than Adley Rushman. I personally would probably rather have Adley Rushman because he's a switch hitter. Julio Rodriguez is him. He's got 99 speed. He's got 91 fielding. And Adolis Garcia is where it gets really, really interesting. Because when you P5 this card, he's going to have 120, 110 with 125, 124, which is really, really good. With 99 fielding and 88 speed. I will be honest. I don't know how Adoles Garcia's swing is. I don't know if it's glitchy or not. There is potential that he's S tier. I do think Julio Rodriguez is a little bit better, but it's not by a whole lot. So Adoles Garcia is really on the fence of A tier, S tier, in my opinion. Spencer Strider going to be B tier. Sandy's going to be S tier. I don't know how much I love that, honestly. Pete Alonso's A tier. Aaron Nola, B tier. Joey, A tier. I look at Spencer's card. What's the most telling about his card? He's only got four pitches. All right. That's just what it is. Uh, he does have really good hits per nine. He does 
does get outlier potential that maybe he's above B but he only has four pitches just don't love that problem I have with Sandy I am gonna put him in S tier because on paper he looks really really good he gets outlier his sinker and fastball are gonna be deadly of course he's got the circle change he struggled to strike people out so if this one obviously doesn't have that struggle because it's at 93 that'd be nice his all-star card was also kind of easy to hit both him and Corbin Burns were easy to hit is it because of stats or is it because of their pitching animation because of their pitch selection don't know so it could be stats so I'm putting him in S tier I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt Pete Alonso A tier very comparable to Vladdy Jr and we have Vladdy in A tier so I think that's why Aaron Nola where did I put I put Aaron Nola in B tier because I think Aaron Nola is gonna have the exact same problem that Nestor Cortez has pitches are all slow they're all kind of the same speed you don't have to worry about getting blown by a fastball or anything that maybe him and even Nestor maybe they can absolutely die I can't determine that until I pitch with them Joey card looks actually insane um but he is a tier but he looks really really good so the NL Central we're gonna go B tier on Nico Hunter Green B tier I'm pretty sure he only has four pitches even though he has outlier Hunter Renfro a tier Brian Reynolds S tier for sure and I'm gonna do Nolan and Manny Machado at the same time they're both S tier but I think their cards are more in line with A tier, but we have such a lack of third basemen. When you look at third basemen besides George Brett, they're some of the best third basemen in the game, which is why they go S tier. More aligned with possibly an A tier card. Again, 125, 125, very, very good. 94 power, 88 power, in my opinion, a little too low. Hunter Green, like I said, bro, he's got four pitches. He does have outlier. Four pitches, I think, is really, really tough. Hunter Renfro card, uh, with his gold, I know it was BR, but I absolutely crack with that card. Like, hit like 470 or something. I know it's BR, but still. Still, and he can play first base. You, you can make an argument that this guy at first base is better than Vladdy, uh, Pete Alonso, Joey. Yes. Bro, this card's this card's cracked. This card is insane. P5, 123, 120 contact, 125, 119 power, 94 fielding with 95 speed. I don't know what else more you would want in a card, and he's a switch hitter. There's actually potential that he's better than the Mike Trout card, which just sounds crazy. When I look at this card in my head, it more seems A tier when we kind of put it combined with the other other a tier cards we have like this card is not as good as the brian reynolds card taylor ward card in my opinion same with like the manny machado like him and manny machado but when you compare them to third basements there's not that many third basements in the game look at the third basements we have they're better than rendon like i said george brett but even like josh donaldson like they're still better or very comparable yeah you got chipper but they're better defensively if you would want that like eddie matt like third baseman they just they compete they're some of the best oh there is miggy miggy is really really good too miggy's probably the best third baseman okay i did forget about M miggy is the best third baseman for sure these two guys are like right behind there there might be a little bias because i am a padres and, and and rockies fan but these guys are insane dalton's b tier daniel bard s tier freddie freeman a tier logan webb b tier dalton i mean he looks good right he looks good he can play catcher so he's probably pretty much like where adley's at that top pitch he's got is a sinker and he's got outlier looks like he could be a really really good closer i also have freddie freeman in a tier because we have xander bogarts in a tier and they're actually kind of both similar cards they both have 125 contact but a little little bit lower on the power side i think it's the exact same thing hunter renfro joey pete alonzo vladdy freddie freeman those guys you can all argue are better or not better i think the one guy out of the 2022 finest his name is paul goldschmidt is easily the s tier first baseman which we'll get to but all these other guys very very close and i think they fit a tier better i mean you look at his card though oof beautiful logan webb again i mean cool four pitches b tier that's why now we're gonna look at the cards that you get for completing the 2022 finest collection we have byron buxton in his own little tier called buxton i could have called it absolute garbage never play with the card because he has 88 contact against righties i got max scherzer in a tier max scherzer actually looks like a really good pitcher card he looks a lot better than these guys and that's why there's potential max scherzer though has a really basic throwing animation that's kind of easy to read a little worried about that edwin diaz s tier they gave this dude a sinker oh beautiful chef's kiss they gave him a sinker we can use edwin diaz now last one paul goldschmidt s tier so let's go look at the cards buxton looks fantastic he looks great across the board you then see 88 contact against the righty and you're like yeah he's useless that's very unfortunate he does have a little more speed than some of the guys he doesn't have outlier but like i said his pitching animation is pretty basic kind of easier to read so a little afraid about that we can use edwin diaz i was even using edwin diaz with his two-seam fastball and he was still kind of decent he wasn't that bad so a sinker makes him beautiful um and paul goldschmidt best first baseman out of all all those guys so 
that's why he's S tier. Yeah. yeah, and Jose Abreu, I think, is very, very comparable with all the other first basemen. Shocker. Felix Batista, which uh, S tier, in my opinion. We got Michael Harris, B tier, and Jacob deGrom, who's S tier. Do we even really have to talk about it? Um, You also get Mike Trout from the uh, BR reward. Mike Trout's S tier. We will look at Corbin Burns cards, but I also think Corbin Burns is S tier. And you get this guy from packing him. So he's like 500K right now. Fun. 25, 123. He's a little low on the power on the 90 and 100. That's why we got him in eight tier um but you know if you like his swing i don't know much about his swing but if it's glitchy people might like that again with this card he gets outlier he's got 125 125 when he's at p5 uh really really good card michael harris is a good card he can crush righties for sure not great against lefties so it's almost like adley rushman's card but he's not a switch hitter so i can't believe they dropped this jacob de it's absolute bs uh he is outlier he's like probably the best pitcher in the game now he's gonna be literally unstoppable the greatest thing on earth since sliced bread and i don't want to face him here's corbin burns's card it's really 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 good it's gonna be a really really good card I, I, same thing like i said with sandy i'm a little worried uh were we able to hit these cards because of pitching animation or was it more because of stats are these guys gonna be absolutely dominant i hope they're dominant but also not at the same time and i mean i'll show you guys the trout card which i'll have his debut coming out later today i hope hopefully i can get it done this is what we got we're gonna debut all of these guys we're gonna do it in three videos s tier team then like an a tier team and then a mix of a b tier slash buxton team hope you guys enjoyed that and like i said trout video where if i lose I have to quick sell Mike Trout. Might be out later tonight. Um, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.